Well, how do there, Charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves. Now, today, Charms, for you guys in the viewer bars, I'm going to be jumping over onto the old Timter web and over to Company House, where something unusual has happened with the Hello Games Limited Company. Let me jump onto the internet and show you what I mean. Ah! So here I am over on the old Tinter web. Now, this is Company House. Okay, now on side of Company House, something pretty odd has happened. Back in the February of 2024, cessation of Sean Murray, personal person with significant control. And that cessation was then followed up with a notification of Hello Future as a person with significant control. So if I hit on up this PDF and we have a quick look at this, you can see here that Hello Future has now got ownership in a roundabout way but not only that the legal form of this entity is a privately unlimited company so not quite a plc but it almost feels like it is moving towards a plc but this entity now holds 75 percent or more of the shares in the company which is a massive swathe of it now previously in filing taxonomy they did actually change the way that shares and dividends were put out by the company. So there seems to be a lot of account shuffling. Now, Hello Future, when you look at Hello Future, this is the actual creation of Hello Future. And when you look at the people the behind it, it is Sean Murray. So even though he's now no longer tied to the limited company as a person, as a person in name's sake, he has now got a legal fiction or legal entity of Hello Future. Now, I'm not 100% sure why Sean would do this, because I think that when they change the actual shares to multiple ownership and the shareholders, I believe he added in some of the other founders that, that helped set up Hello Games. So I'd imagine they're still tied to that 25% stake in the limited company. So if it was ever to sell, they would still get quite a lot of dividends from that sale. But then this 75% that now sits under Sean Murray's belt, maybe he invested himself and bought a load of those shares back. Maybe there's an agreement between all of them. Who freaking knows? But what this could mean is Sean could open up those shares that he now owns under the P Unlimited Company, the PLC. Let's just call it that for now because I've never heard of an unlimited company before. And I don't know what that means. He could potentially, if it was a publicly limited private limited company is actually put them out on the stocks and shares market and raise revenue for the actual company to maybe bring in more employees to grow the game maybe get light no fire across the line i mean to get no man's sky across the line he actually put his he actually remortgaged his house the first time around so i don't know whether this is a power play to get more revenue but i don't think they need more revenue because they're making quite a lot off the back of no man's sky it's a very odd move and it doesn't overly make 100% sense to me. All I can ask is if you are business savvy, if you have a company mindset and you know how the business world works, sound off in the comments. Let me know exactly what you think this means. Because to me, I think this means that it opens up the avenue for backing future investment and perhaps growth of Hello Games. That's one way to interpret it. Another way to interpret it is perhaps they got quite a lot of interest in Light No Fire. And perhaps they're looking to actually fragment out the two games, maybe put No Man's Sky under the limited company and have Light No Fire under the PLC and maybe sell one off. I don't know. Or maybe they're looking to sell the whole company and he's making sure that he gets proper dividends as well as the shareholders. Or they managed to retain the lion's share under Sean Murray's name through this Hello Future entity. I really don't know. I'm quite combobulated and quite confused about all this. I mean, it could be something as boring as just how they're going to fragment tax and how they're going to pay the tax man. It might be something really boring. Uh, that's why I've got my cup of tea while I was going through this with a fine tooth comb. But my fine tooth comb, like I say, is not business minded. I've floated this over to Professor Cynical and also Ricey. Rice has got a bit of a better idea. Hopefully he might even put his own video out on this. But I think this is down to interpretation. My interpretation is anything that they're doing when it comes to the financial backing of their actual company. I'm hoping that Sean knows what he's doing. And I'm hoping this means something good 
for us, basically. I mean, the confirmation statement, it says that it's due by the you know January 2025. I mean, when you look at Hello Games, it's still a limited company up here. It hasn't gone PLC on actual company house. So I don't think you can actually buy stocks or shares in Hello Games. That's what I got excited about, first of all, when I saw this private limited company pop up. But no, that's only over here, and even then, it's not quite a pr private limited company. It's a private unlimited company. I need to go school myself on exactly what that means, because I don't know. Well, chums, I thought I would jump on over onto the Tinterwebs and have a look into what is a private unlimited company. Private unlimited companies are similar to private limited companies, but with a few key differences. Firstly, they do not generally have to file their accounts at Company House. That was the website that I was just on, people. So they can keep their trading information secret. And secondly, the liability of the shareholders is unlimited. So if the company is insolvent or goes into liquidation, the shareholders are personally liable to repay the creditors. Ouch. Holy fudge. Private unlimited companies are not common in the UK, and where they are used, it's usually because the owner wishes to keep information that could be valuable to the competitors, such as turnover and the amount paid in dividends out of the public eye. Forming an unlimited company is similar to forming a limited company. You would need the following information to be registered, blah de blah de blah de blah But you know what, people? I know that Hello Games knows that we jump onto Company House to do all of our little mini bits of research. You know, and that's how we found out the little bits and snippets of other titles that they were working on. Well, it could be, maybe, that Hello Games and Shaun of the Murrays has decided to do this to shield Hello Games from the pre peaky little eye peekers of us content creators. Not that I want to blow my own trumpet on this one. I don't think it is down to us. I think this is more likely down to other competitors, such as like the Bethesda's, the Microsoft's, the Sony's. People that might want to be making a bid at Hello Games, perhaps. I don't think it is just for the beady little eye peepers, peepers of the community, but it could be because we might accidentally go and inadvertently spoil something, perhaps even maybe the release year of Light No Fire, because normally they would list what projects they're working on for their shareholders over on Company House. Hello Games has listed No Man's Sky in the past and said about updates that are forthcoming. They haven't actually given names to those updates, but they have said that they are doing review and release cycles this year, hoping to do four updates or something like that. Previously in Company of House, we've managed to get snippets and nuggets of information. It could be that that's no longer going to be the case. Because yes, they no longer have to file statements on Company House, which is the biggest takeaway from this. Very interesting. Interesting indeed. What do you guys think in the view of us? Sound off in the comments. I've done a little bit of homework before I fired up this video, but I couldn't find too much on what that means for Joe Blogs like me and if I did want to invest and get some shares or even how much I could find those shares for. I don't know a lot about buying shares or selling shares, people, but if I could buy shares in Hello Games, after seeing the Light No Fire trailer, I probably would. You know, I think it's quite a sound investment, especially with the amount of due diligence and care we've seen with No Man's Sky when it wasn't up to par and how much they've done to carry it over the line. I think they would do the same if Light No Fire wasn't to standard or par. So anyway, people, that's everything I've got for you. It's a bit of waffle. It's a bit of flannel. It's basically some stuff has changed on Company House when it comes to Hello Games and Shaun of the Murrays no longer being a listed entity against Hello Games. And it's now Fu Hello Future, whatever Hello Future is when it's at home. Yeah. Anyways, that's, that's pretty much everything there. I mean, is that exciting? Well, I'm thinking it kind of... In a, in a time where there's no No Man's Sky news and it's a little bit on the low... Yeah, it, it's quite interesting to see. It's interesting to see that something's happening over in the Hello Games studios. Something else that's happened over on the Hello Games website is they've actually taken down their merch store. I've been waiting for their merch store to re-emerge, but it hasn't as yet. Let me just jump on over and let's see what's going on on merch-wise. Okay, well, let's jump back over to the old Tinter web quickly. Chicka-boom! Now, to find this page, you actually have to go on Google and type in Hello Games merch store. 
to find it. It's no longer across their top tabs. You can't really find it up here anymore. So I've got to it through this, which is just doing a search in the back end. By, it was updated by Tim Woolley on the 18th of the 9th, 2020. So quite some time ago, if you click here to go to the official merch store, Chikapal, it's gone to Squarespace and it says website expired. So I think that could be signs that they're doing some sort of refresh or reimagining of their merch store. And we haven't seen much happen over on their Steam page either when it comes to updating the release platforms for Light No Fire. So here we go, Light No Fire, scrolling down, and we haven't seen any new changes to here. One of the last things to have in was some of the audio or language files were updated, but that is about it. There's still release date to be announced, the actual release titles are to be announced, and release date. Yeah, it, there's nothing new there, people. There's no new news when it comes to Light No Fire, and there's nothing really going on that I can see anywhere inside of the, the Hello Games genre that I need to bring to your attention. And back on over onto their website and looking at the vacancies, sometimes this can give a hint of what they're trying to do or what they're looking to get on board. But yeah, there's nothing really there that jumps out that says, you yeah, know, we, we need you know, this. This is something for your attention other than graphics engine programmer. But that's pretty much it, to be fair. And that one's only a six month contract. So it does make me wonder whether in the next six months we might see something big come out of Hello Games Studio in way of update for maybe No Man's Sky or maybe an update for Light No Fire. But... <sighs> A lot of these contracts, even though it's six months, it could get extended. Or if not extended, that person could be made permanent if they're a decent asset. So you can't really read into that as being a timeline or anything like that, people. So I haven't any, I haven't got anything other to really tickle you on, on when it comes to No Man's Sky or Light No Fire news. But I would say just watch this space, though, because as soon as there is, I'll be doing another cup of tea with Captain Steve, and uh, we'll be going over the news for No Man's Sky as and when there is something juicy. So yeah, hit that notification bell, salute to Mondo, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.